Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. It is really good to be back. We were on our vacation. We took our first family vacation up to Queensland together. My husband, my, our baby son, our baby son, our son and I went on our first family, family vacay for the last week. We had the best time. Massey was so good on the plane. He like just was looking at everything and listening for the noises and didn't really cry. He was just probably a little bit whingy because you got to strap them down with, to yourself <laughs> with another belt, which I kind of, I was like, can't my husband just keep him in the carrier? And they're like, no. So he was a bit, didn't know what was going on. But other than that, he was really good. I said in a post that the flight attendant took him, like said, can I take him for, a, uh, you guys have a break. She was so funny. And we're like, yes, take him. And she took him up to meet the pilot, like walked all the way up the plane and saying hi to all these people. And he was just a superstar as usual, saying hi, hi. So they met the pilot, it was so, so adorable. I am here today with a What's In My Bag Wednesday. This will probably be a little bit late as I am filming this on Thursday, but nevertheless, it will be uh, a What's In My Bag Wednesday because this is the main bag that I traveled with on our vacay. And surprisingly enough, it is perfect to show you this because if you haven't entered my giveaway in my last video I did a secret video a secret inside video giveaway that way it's just purely for my true subbies or people that watch the video through I don't like putting giveaway in the title because then you just got people that search for giveaways and enter that way I want to give you guys a really good chance at winning um, who are my true subbies? Anyway, so this is perfect timing to do a what's in my bag Wednesday with my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier in the 25cm. I am giving away one of these beautiful bags on my channel and on my Instagram all because of my gorgeous hashtag Jerusha Addict. I've talked about it before. It's absolutely epic. It's got over 90,000 images right now. And a lot of you guys have entered. You can win this as sort of first place. And then a toiletry 15 from Louis Vuitton as second. And then my Dragon key, like key chain in monogram as third place. So there's so many chances to win. And you can enter as many times as you like. Like literally if you enter five times a day, every day for the next week and a half, I think it's still open to the 27th of March. That's really a great chance, more chances that at random org will spit out your number. So go ahead and enter my giveaway to win this baby, a new version obviously. This is my very, very uh, patinaed version. I also did a review on it on that video if you watched it. Thank you so much. But all in all, in that video I did say this is such an epic travel bag. It is so handy. This is honestly very close to what I had in it when I came home. Obviously, I've taken a few of the things out because we were using them or Mussy needed them or whatever. Uh, but this is very close to what I had it when I was traveling around. I also, or I also sorry, took my pochette Matisse uh, for smaller little things like just going to dinner or something. But the main, main things that I did, I took this with me, such as going to SeaWorld and traveling through the airports and it is a dream. Just tilted the camera now so you can see. This is the bag here and straight in the top, trying so, so you can see. As I did say in that video, I don't use a bag organizer. I tend to well, it doesn't look organized right now, but some items have just been thrown back in there. I tend to always keep my uh, items in line, in like a line, so I know sort of where it is at what time when I need it. And anything essential, I always keep in the little smart compartment here, and I can just grab it that way. So starting up with that smart compartment, my, always my little lucky charm, my little juicy couture clip. It's like my little angel, my little travel angel I keep it with me I got that in New York City on top we're just gonna have random stuff because obviously we're traveling this is Massey's favorite little toy at the moment and I think it's Playgrow is it I love their toys 
I think it's either Playgrow, I'm not quite sure. I picked this up at Baby Bunting and it's just a little seahorse and it's got these little uh, ribbons on the top they can chew and little teething toys on the bottom but he loves it and he kept it from like we were saying Sea World because there's little like seahorses. That was really just half shoved in this little smart compartment. I have my car key, we obviously didn't have my car, my car key on my Louis Vuitton Dragon strap. This is what I'm giving away as well this is the third place winner we'll get this and it is so handy trust me guys still down inside this compartment I have Mentos I always take Mentos on an airplane because I get like my ears pop as you're going into descent and um, yeah I just I hate that feeling I hate blowing on my nose to try and clear my ears it's no bueno then lastly I have uh, the essay Sandrina Sandrine, Sandrine, who is the SA from the Louis Vuitton uh, Pacific Fair Shopping Center. They have done a massive renovation at the Pacific Fair uh, Shopping Center. They've put in a massive luxury section. All of the luxury boutiques that were on Orchard Road in uh, off Elkhorn Road in Surfers Paradise have gone there. So you can imagine my shock and horror when we drove down that street and Louis Vuitton wasn't there anymore. I was like, oh, where are they gone? But that, that that's where they went, Pacific Fair. And it's amazing there now. It's really, really beautiful. It, we just have a lot of random items. Um, Mussy's Pacifier, the Advent one. These are really nice. because These are the newer style and they've got like all this kind of silicon cushioning around it. So if he chews on it like a teether, it's really good for his teeth. I have my Dettol hand wipes, which came massive ha in handy, massively, sorry, in handy. When I'm traveling, I wipe down everything, like everything, even when we sat to eat, I would wipe down the table and all that jazz, and they're just so handy. Uh, this is my Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede uh, that I got. I hauled this. It is gone, completely empty. But what's good about this size, which I think this is the 30 mil, uh, yeah, the 30 mil or one fluid ounce is that you test it, see if you like it. And then now I know because I just, I obviously love it. I could go ahead and get the big size without a problem. The sunnies that I wore were my Key Australia. I actually took two. These were my Key Australia's uh, that my recent, my most recent purchase, which is the Supine Bam which are just big square tortoise shell, really just easy, non-fast, and I liked that. And I also took my Sports Girl uh, straight across, very Celine looking ones. So now we're getting down to my main essentials. I have another Dettol <laughs> hand wipe packet. I had like three in this bag at one stage. I have my husband's sunglasses. These are his compact Ray-Bans, however, they are not the compact Ray-Bans that I, you may remember, got him, hauled him from our Hong Kong holiday. So they go like this, they go like this, you can't really see, and they go up and they are just large wayfarers. So that's what they look like, bam, um, hideously dirty. Um, these are not the ones that I bought him as a gift from our Hong Kong trip. These are a new pair of black large compact wayfarers because my gorgeous husband lost the pair that I gave him. I just want to say he preaches, like preaches, that he's like, I'm not into labels, I'm not into the zhuzh, I don't like all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, okay, no worries, no worries. But He's like, I'm not, you know, I have no commitment to possessions. I'm not like you. It's like, I have no materialistic commitment. I am, I don't need things. And I'm like, yeah, no worries, no worries. And people like that think, like, I don't have commitment to, like, I don't need material items. They think they're so selfless in saying that. Which, yeah, I kind of get it. Whatever, moving on. The thing is... In like in a first world country like this, you're still going to receive beautiful items. 
and you're going to receive like luxury gifts like a really nice pair of compact wayfarers right so not everybody can afford or will get these as a gift or whatnot and the thing is to have these items and then just not you know oh i like them but they're not you know you don't take care of them and you lose them it's almost an insult it's not an insult necessarily to the person that gave it to you well it is but it's an insult to the fact that like yeah you might not need material ob objects or possessions but if you get them you should take care of them because there's someone out there who would love a pair of these sunnies and I tell my husband that all the time I'm like maybe you don't like need material objects but when you get them you should bloody take care of them he lost his brother-in-law gave him like a Prada coat it was so amazing and he's lost in one of his restaurants or in the back of a car somewhere and I'm just like he's like oh I don't know I lost it I'm like, do you know how many people would kill for a coat like that? Like that is absolutely, so it turns from like selfless to just like careless. I hope you see where I'm going with that. You know what I mean? There's a difference between like not being materialistic and not caring for your materialistic possessions that someone would really care for. These were our tickets. These are our boarding tickets. It's got all our details on them. But Mussy's is in here. So cute. It says Mussy on it. I should really keep that for like his little book or whatnot. We stayed at the Marriott in Surfers Paradise. So here's a little notepad from the Marriott. I have that down in here. Uh, my Apple charger. I always keep one. It's meant to actually be in my toiletry. I have a pen from the Marriott. The pens were so nice. If a pen is really nice in hotels, I kind of just go around stealing all of them because they're just really smooth and nice. My glasses, my, re my reading glasses from Chanel are down inside here and always needing those. I have our SeaWorld tickets. How cute. So cute. Again, I should keep those. We took Mussy to SeaWorld to see the dolphins. He loves dolphins. I have my PM agenda, six ring PM agenda from Louis Vuitton and Damien Azure. And yeah, this goes everywhere with me. Got all my details in it. That doesn't change out. I haven't changed out my wallet. I still have my Zippy Compact wallet in Damien Ibin. Always need to remove a few cards and love this wallet. Have shown you it in a few what's in my bags. I haven't traded it out, I probably need to. I also think I'm going to trade this out. This is my multi clay six ring, uh, six key holder uh, in monogram with the dark berry fuchsia interior. I might trade that out to my multi color or maybe a clay. And this is my second place prize. This is my Louis Vuitton toiletry 15 in monogram. And this all still has mainly the essentials that it had painkillers, earbuds from Apple, a wall charger from Apple, band-aids, three band-aids, my Look how many bobby pins are stuck to my perfume. My travel size perfume from Louis Vuitton in Turbulences. Uh, three hair tie two hair ties. My palm olive hand sanitizer, I did show you that. Uh, my luggage, uh, my trolley key still. My little brush from Savvy to put on blush if I'm out. Two essence uh, lip liners in mauve and de uh, sorry satin mauve 06 and de nude and then my apple connector for the iphone 7s my uh, hydra beauty lip balm from chanel in the stick size two bobby pins pins a one dollar coin and empty and lastly oh yeah I bought this with me. It's from my uh, Aroma Scent. Aroma Scent gave me this, gifted me this. This is their subscription scent, and they filled this one with YSL Black Opium. And I took this on my trip because I ran, no, I just showed you, I ran out of my Jo Malone or it's gone down. So I took this in my bag as well. So I had a few to choose from. I had my Vuitton. Oh my gosh, I can't find it. My baton, 
the uh, Black Opium and my Joe Malone. I had those three to choose from. That is empty minus my cell phone, which is the um, iPhone 7 Plus. In, and it's actually the matte black. Someone asked me what it is. It's the matte black. I just have the silicone cover on it, but it's the matte black. I, w I definitely have to keep a cover now. I used to say I never would, but I have to because if I drop this, I mean, that is just, yeah. That, that would be that would be a big one if I crack that. Okay, so that is my Speedy B25 empty. That is what I had in it. And after, oh, I actually didn't show you my luggage tag, which I usually do. This is my Louis Vuitton small luggage tag in the raw cowhide leather. And um, on it has my little motto clip that I got from BJ Taylor 02, gorgeous BJ Taylor. And I just have that on as a bag charm. But that is it. That is what is the content in this bag. It is a great travel bag. Honestly, crossbody, shoulder, top handle, whatever. It just fits a ton. I did say in that review, I feel like it's equivalent to a 30. Obviously, you can get more in a 30 because it's, you know, physically bigger. But I feel like for your essentials and extra needs, and I have a baby and I did just fine, it is a great bag. Okay, so that is it. That is the end of my What's My Bag Wednesdays. Uh, I, again, I will remind you to enter my giveaway. You can enter as many times as you wish, uh, which will obviously give you more chance of winning because there'll be more, more of your entries and random org might spit out your number to win one of my three prizes new from Louis Vuitton that I picked up in the vlog with Mussy. And then you might or may not have seen me unbox them in the last video. Again, I will link the video below. Uh, check the info box so you can see and I will link the Google documents below that you can go ahead and enter submit an entry as many times as you like and then all of those numbers will be put into random org and numbers will be spat out as winners at complete random so you've got to be in it to win it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Giving a thumbs up on YouTube is so important now. It just shows uh, Google and YouTube that you know we're in really good standing and that we're making really good content and we're not spammy channels. So I also like seeing thumbs up so go ahead and hit that button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so that would be really cool guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.